So here's another example of uh, how sample selection can lead to a bias in estimates of a coefficient that we might be interested in. For example, <coughs> we might have a regression where we have as outcome uh, a person's earnings, right? We've been using average hourly earnings. And uh, we have as explanatory variable uh, the number of children in the household. And we might be talking about uh, uh, earnings of women uh, in particular. So we're measuring earnings of women here. We're interested in how uh, and what the relationship is between the number of children a woman has and their earnings. Uh, and we might think, oh, well, women who have more children have lower uh, earnings um, because they're, they're busy doing uh, child care uh, work and... Uh, and have less time to uh, devote to their careers, uh, climbing a career ladder, etc. Um, so we're interested in estimating this coefficient beta 1. So we get a sample of uh, women in the workforce. We have their earnings and we have their number of children and we estimate it and we might be surprised to find that the coefficient is actually positive. And it looks like the more children a woman has, the higher are her earnings. And so we might uh, give pause there and say, hmm, wonder if something's going on, wonder if there isn't a sample selection problem. That is, women who have a lot of children um, and, and relatively low earnings potential, they don't enter the labor market. Instead, they spend their time uh, on child care. So we don't observe these women here. These are all women with lots of children and with low earnings potential and low earnings. So what happens? Uh, whereas the objective relationship might be sort of a slight negative relationship if we had all the data this would be the relationship between um, number of children and earnings. If these aren't here, then as you can see, we're left with kind of a, a, a slight uh, positive relationship, kind of looking like this. That's the best fit data. So we go from having a, a you know, negative or flat slope to having a positive slope in the uh, case where our sample has been selected to not include women whose earnings uh, are low given that they have large numbers of children. So remember the key feature for there to be bias in sample selection is that um, the sample itself has to be selected based on the outcome variable controlling for the explanatory variable. Um, and in this case this meets our criteria. This is one of the more famous sample selection problems and uh, led uh, an economist and statistician named James Heckman uh, to propose a solution, which you can um, study in Econ 173, uh, the uh, correction for sample selection problem. Heckman went on to get the Nobel Prize, I think, in, um, in the early 2000s. So uh, that's another example of sample selection.